Hi, I'm Carl Joshua Ngube and one of the pressing questions worldwide and in Zimbabwe is how do we sustainably use our natural resources? So I set out on a quest to show the lighter side on the conservation of natural resources. I traveled to Mbire, right at the top of Zimbabwe, where daily life is like an extreme sport, with lions and elephants all around. But first I had to seek permission from the African Wildlife Foundation. Up. Then I went through a little bit of training before the big adventure. Come, 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 come. Hey. I had the privilege of joining the fearless and ridiculously fit community scouts in their patrols in search of poachers and illegal activities. I then went to Kanyemba and had the privilege of fishing in the crocodile-infested Zambezi River. From Kanyemba, we made the trip all the way to Lupane to spend some time with villagers who are conserving the forest by processing wild manketi nuts in a sustainable way under the Forest Forces projects. But the serenity was not to last for long because on that same day, I had to overcome my debilitating fear of bees and visit Mr. Malala, a Forest Forces project participant who chose to go the honey route in order to conserve bees. I didn't even try to pretend I wasn't scared because I was absolutely terrified. But the honey at the end was well worth it. <laughs> this is amazing. From Lupane, we came back to Arare to the relative safety of a lab at the Forestry Commission to meet two students funded by CIRED, conducting research on palm wine. Despite my best efforts, I failed to even get a sip of the potent palm wine, which ferments in just a few hours. I guess it was a good thing I didn't take that palm wine because I needed all my senses around me when I joined the community kids on an excursion to the vast Gorerejo National Park, which houses the majestic Chilojo Cliffs. All in all, my experiences were very interesting, but the most important observation I made is that it was ordinary people, like you and me, playing their part in conservation of natural resources. So if they can do it, so can we.